and there we go. So tell me a little bit about yourself and your career. Uh, well, I'm an actress, filmmaker. Um, I came to LA about five years ago, something like that. And um, I initially started film, you know, I started learning about film and, you know, I got into acting when I came here because I found a really great theater um, slash school, which was a Meissner based school, Playhouse West. Um, and that sort of got me into the you know, being in front of the camera as opposed to the filmmaking side of it, which I initially started with. I started with production, I did script supervision, I did, um, you know, like I was a DP on a couple of projects and then I came here to pursue more filmmaking and I got into acting because I realized, I've always wanted to, but it's just like, you have to learn filmmaking first and then get, you know, kind of like, I feel like it's important for an actor to learn filmmaking and understand it. And then I got into acting and then, yeah, and then things just sort of happened. You know, the, I got the role on Orange is the New Black, which was incredible and humbling. And I was in shock because I love that show so much. And then I auditioned for the only Russian role they had. They actually had two roles. And um, I auditioned for one remotely from, you know, from LA and they were casting in New York. And I just got it. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I ended up like being on set. <laughs> and I was like this is weird but okay but yeah nice so tell me a little bit about that experience I mean the show is so iconic yeah it was really um it was incredible because we pretty much like they built the sets and everything on the on the same lot where they film like the whole you know like jail sequences and all that they have they're actually like renting a um I think it's a facility that used to be like some sort of children's hospital before or something. And they're, they're, they, they built the set for the Russian like Soviet apartments and all the, all the other kind of sets above the actual facility, which was really great. And yeah, I got to, I got to see a little bit of their filming because they were, I think they were filming at the same time, the rest of the, you know, like, or, or they were like coming after us to film the scenes uh, that didn't kind of relate to the playbacks, uh, sorry, the flashback, uh, see, filmmaker, playback. <laughs> um, I know what you meant, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it was incredible. We got to, we, we pretty much had, like, our crew and everything. They were mostly Russian, like, not the crew, but the, the cast. Um, and we got to have a lot of fun because they were like, yay, everybody, the costume department, the, the prop department, they were all super happy because they were like, we got to create like and actually build stuff because we've been on that the same set every day for so many years mm -hmm. that, you know, now it's just kind of like, hey, oh, Mitzi is joining us. Oh, hey, Mitzi. Hi, can you hear me? She's probably Perfectly, listening. yes. We're oh, recording awesome. the interview, yes. Oh, excellent. I just popped in just to say hello and to thank you both for taking the time to speak to each other. And um, I'm going to now dismiss myself. I just wanted to make sure everybody had what they needed. And it looks Yay. like you do. So thank you so much, Sammy. Thank you, Zenia. No problem. Thank you, Missy. And No problem. And I'm going to just leave the two of you now. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, there you go. I'm like, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> so that's great. And what would you say was the most challenging part about playing your role? Honestly, just the fact that that character is so well established and it's played by freaking Kate Mulgrew, who is an incredible actress. And she, she created this character and I was kind of, I was worried that I won't carry it through, you know, and I wouldn't like, portray it exactly or I wouldn't do it justice but when we started filming and we started having fun with it and then the the, the Russian coach um, language co coach that was working on set she came she came up to me and she's like I just want to say you even have the same expressions and like the same voice kind of like moments as Kate does for her character so like you're doing really well and I was like thank you because I was really terrified and worried and uh, but that was the most challenging for me especially uh, another thing is like when you come on a show that has so many fame like it's been there it's established show it's been there for five seasons or four seasons that was season five I was doing um, 
it's just everyone knows each other and they're they're like they're they're a family now and you're coming from the outside so it's a bit nerve-wracking to be like hi <laughs> you know i'm gonna play this character you guys love so much so yeah that was the most challenging for me and what would you say was your favorite moment about filming um the, i think well the there were several i think first of all the costumes of course because the costumes were like my mom made a joke because i told her what i'm wearing my mom's russian obviously and um i'm wearing like levi's jeans like you know back from the 80s and my mom was laughing it was like how ironic like you went to america to pursue your career and the first role you got was in soviet russia wearing the clothes that i wore when i was younger <laughs> and i was like i know right um but yeah, the, cost the costumes were amazing. And I think I just enjoyed, our, I honestly enjoyed working with the, with the cast because the casting director, um, she made sure Cuba, uh, um, Carmen Cuba, she made, she did a fantastic job by casting all of us. And honestly, she just knew, like we all clicked as soon as we met, we're like, oh my God, I, I totally understand. And like, I, I connect with you. So we had a lot of fun, especially because we were the only Russian language speaking cast. So, so yeah, that was my favorite part. I think just connecting with everyone and having fun together. Very nice. And now I understand you have some new stuff coming out. Tell me a little bit about what's coming up. Yeah, so the Greedy and Pretty series is a mini web series that I shot about a year ago. Um, it's basically a story of friendship that kind of ended at high school, which happens, you know, um, and then the two characters sort of reconnect when they're later in life and they're close to their thirties and they're just like, you know, they, their life didn't go just as planned. So they kind of meet and they, they have a conflict right away. Cause one of them kind of smashes like into the other's car in the parking lot. And, um, and yeah, and they kind of have to help each other out because the circumstance puts them in a position where one of them owns a gym, which is my character, the one I'm playing. Um, I own a gym and it's not doing really well because I thought like I'm, I'm a hard worker. I love boxing. I love training people. I, I love all of that. And then on top of everything, I have to take care of like a social media type promotion thing. And I'm just like, this is a new world we live in and I hate it. And my character hates it. Um, and my friend, she's kind of like this person that had it easy her entire life, kind of, you know, she's pretty, she is, she's loved by everyone. And now she's stuck, she wanted to be an actress, but she stuck working as a, an Instagram TV show host. And she's just like, what am I doing? She's like, not, not to offend anyone who's doing Instagram shows, but the one in the story is, is kind of like, she's just like, I should be acting and not doing, I don't want to do hosting and I don't want to you know, uh, take care of promoting tampons and things like that. Like, that. Um, so yes, yeah, so they kind of, they have to help each other out because uh, one of them gets fired from her job. There's like, I'm not gonna reveal everything, but she gets fired at the Instagram TV show host. And uh, my character, Kira, she's kind of like in need of promotion and somebody to help her with her gym and keep it going. And throughout that, they kind of find a new relationship, you know, they kind of, grow through it together and become become close again oh wow i love that i absolutely love it it sounds like something that would happen in real life too i'm sure some of us have some version of that happening so that's really yeah. great and you said you filmed it a year ago so how do you feel about it coming out now Are you excited about it i'm really excited obviously like the whole situation with coronavirus and everything that was kind of unexpected because as soon as we got accepted to the film festival it's like hey coronavirus we're not going to do a live screening we're not going to do any of that so it, i'm very excited that dances with films created such an amazing platform to make you know to move the, the festival from physical world to the virtual and they're actually doing a fantastic job and they i'm glad that we're premiering with them because they they even have like virtual meeting rooms where you can go and meet filmmakers and talk about things. And it's just like, I love that. I think it's a new opportunity this year to show your work in a different way, you know? 
You know what? You're absolutely right because there's so many people. Like I live in Pittsburgh, so sometimes it's hard for me to get to events in LA or New York, even though I have family in New York. And that's where I'm originally from. Having this virtually, maybe it's happening for a reason. So we could not, not a very good reason. I mean, nobody wants this pandemic, but maybe it's happening so people like you could find more platforms to promote your work and stuff like that. So it maybe yeah. for in a, in a sense, it's a blessing. It is. And it's, it's, I know a lot of people, friends of mine, first of all, I've, we've been doing a lot of um, contests and, you know, stay at home film challenges. We won one. We did like a film riot. It's a film riot. It's a huge, yeah, it's a, it's a huge platform. And we did like a, they, they, they were like a one minute film challenge without leaving your house. And we did like a, an action film at home with everything we had. And it looks really fun. And like we <laughs> had, and we won, we're like, Hey, so we won like, you know, a lot of like, um, stuff for filmmaking like plugins for editing for everything so it's just like it's a chance to be creative in a different way you know just so, yeah. that's great that's great i gotta tell my brother about that he's oh, really yeah. he's a podcast host and he's really into filmmaking and stuff like that must run into family so i gotta tell him about that he would love that yeah definitely tell him about film riot film riot still does um they're still doing like challenges every couple of weeks or something if i, if I remember yeah so yeah, you can, it's free to enter and you can create a story and just use the music they provide and just like create anything you want. I got to tell them about that. We're actually roommates too. So that's like another thing. Yay. It's a cool situation because his wife goes to school in um, New York. So I, I, my lease was up because I live, we both live in Pittsburgh and we're like, why don't we just be roommates? We live together most of our lives anyway. So oh, nice. And since, so, yeah, we're both in the same field in a sense, it makes it even more fun. That's awesome. And you guys can be together during this time, which is even better. Yes, exactly. So it's wonderful. And one thing I like to ask people is, tell me a fun, surprising fact about yourself. How many what, sorry? A fun, surprising fact about yourself. Something fun about you. <laughs> oh, that's always a tough question, isn't it? Um, ah, surprising fact. Uh trying to think I mean I I'm a really like I love it's not really surprising but I really like if we're talking about filmmaking or whatever I just really love like I I grew up watching John Landis's comedy movies you know and that is a surprising fact because in Russia we kind of like I mean we had films that came from America and everything but my family was really kind of like um, on the American side of things and they really love this culture. They never moved here. They never, you know, they visited, but they never moved here. And I kind of grew up watching a lot of American movies. And I think I have a very kind of Westernized mindset. So when I, when people meet me, they're always like, no, you're not Russian. I'm like, I am, I'm actually really Russian. I grew up in St. Petersburg. I, you know, I just, I, I absolutely love traveling. Like I've, tr I've lived in about like, seven countries um, oh wow where have you lived i've lived in italy i lived in ukraine i lived in england i lived in canada in montreal for a bit um la obviously and in egypt actually i lived <gasps> in egypt for a bit because i really yeah that was like a a weird time in my life i was like 18 or 19 years old and i was just like i'm gonna move to egypt because <laughs> because why not <laughs> why not yeah <laughs> That is impressive. Do you speak languages from each country you lived in, too? Uh, well, not each. I, I mean, I speak Russian, French, um, a little bit of Italian, because when I went there, I was, like, very young. Um, English, wait, English, French, Italian. And um, I understand a little bit of, like, I mean, I don't speak Arabic, but I used to kind of be able to like count and do things like, you know, a little bit understanding some words, but not so gone. So it's, I don't, I don't speak. Um, so yeah, so I would say like French, English and Russian are the main ones. Wow, that is impressive. <laughs> and since we are a TV site, what are you watching on TV these days? Oh, a lot of stuff, actually. Um, I watched uh, Tales from the Loop, which was a really great show on Amazon Prime. I don't know if you saw it. It's really cool. Yeah, I just added it to my list. It's really good. Um, what else have I been watching? A lot of films. Like we actually, my boyfriend and I, we went to a drive-in theater because we love movie theaters. We 
you know, miss it so much. So we just had to the driving theater and we saw The Rental. It's a Dave Franco, Dave Franco's movie. Oh, really okay, cool. okay. But, but sorry, you said TV shows. So yeah, I would say like The Two Loops. Ah, oh, we watched um, Castle Rock, like the new season about misery. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. She did such a, it was like scary, terrifying, and amazing. Yes. <laughs> um, <gasps> What else? What else? The show wise, we have like a couple of shows in our list, mostly movies we watch, but because the show, like I feel, like, oh, I watched The Crown on Netflix. That was fantastic. That was good. Yeah. That was really good. That was like some, I love shows like that. Like I love shows that have a, um, some sort of a, like a depth to it. And they're really kind of, they engage you with a story in a different world, different time, you know, stuff like that. So so, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's very nice. Yeah, so many good ones. So many good ones. And yeah. where can we find you on social media? And where can we find this wonderful new show of yours? So the 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 trailer for the show is available on my YouTube channel, which is if you just type in "Gritty and Pretty Xenia Blanc," you can find it easily. Um, the series are not available anywhere except for the screening. I'm so sorry. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> oh, special guest, sure. I'm surprised by <laughs> animals having been jumping up in. It's, it's my boyfriend. He just came back from... Very up. handsome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell him. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, you can find it on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, which has, like, a lot of short films or projects that I've created and everything. But the series will only screen at the festival, which will be September 5th. And you can find the links on my Instagram, which is Ksenia LeBlanc super the same way you spell my name it's the same uh, instagram handle and uh there's a link there to the screening times like updates and everything so and twitter the same i think my twitter is on the xenia leblanc because somebody took my name and, and created their some sort of fake account so so it's the xenia leblanc and you'll see the picture and everything perfect well it was a pleasure to speak to you today and have a wonderful safe weekend thank you thank so much you. thank you sammy this was really fun it was. Thank you. And I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. Awesome. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye.